nah, what up with it? <laughs> hey, listen, $1,400 in four minutes. Four, three, look over here, two, one, boom. Wanna learn how to do it? I'm gonna show you. Let's go. Working at nine to five, I had to go and feed the gods. Nobody did it right, I had to show them how to go. I had to be the dog, this is the life I live for God. Taking a step at a time, we going up, we headed to Mars. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you. If your boy got the sleepy face, I just woke up, you feel me, over there eating some Frosted Flakes on these charts. You did. But listen, before we start the video, make sure you thumbs it all the way up for the YouTube algorithm. That way more people can see it. Thank y'all for 80,000 subs. That's dope. We're going to run this channel up, too. And, you know, make sure you uh, drop your cash apps, bitcoins, all that below, because we will be doing more giveaways here in the future. I do got to give you our scripture of the day, Philippians 4, 3, or 4, 13, one of them. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Remember that, you'll go a long way. Also, whenever y'all hit subscribe, make sure y'all hit the bell notification and hit all, so that way everything I upload, you'll get notified. Some people say they wouldn't get in the videos or the uploads. So make sure you do that, but without further ado, we're going to hop straight into this video. Let's go. Yo, what's up, family? So y'all want to know how to become a profitable trader? The stochastic right here is low. Anytime the stochastic is low, we're looking to buy. I'm gonna hop in on the $700 position right here. All right, and as you can see, I'm waiting for the stochastic to come back, the green across the red and come back this way. All right, another sign that made me take this trade was the zigzag, this orange line right here. It's pushing the candles down, and whenever the zigzag forms, meaning push the candles down, we're looking to get in at the bottom of the zigzag on a buy. All right? And so now, uh, before we even do that, I forgot to show you all the settings. I got to show you all the settings. All right? So zigzag settings right here. You got those, 5, 12, 3. Then we got uh, my 200 EMA. 50 EMA, 10 EMA, all right? And then the Keltner channel settings is 20, 10, and two. So this is my Quotex broker, uh, not my broker, but Quotex is another binary broker uh, that I use. I really like it as well. So if you wanna get this broker, click the link in the description below uh, and you'll be able to get it as well. Let me see how much time we got on this one. 35 seconds. So we'll see how, how this plays out. If they gonna try to give it to me or they not. Let's see. We in profit for a little bit, but it ain't really made that shoot up yet. So I'm trying to see. I see the I see the stochastic is trying to curve through. Let's see if they play me or they gonna give it to me. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six. I think we got it. Four, three, look over here. Two, one, boom. Easy money, all right? So that's why we took that trade, all right, on two minutes. And basically, like I was telling people before, if you're on a one minute candle, all right, a one minute candle, then you're looking for two, let me come over here. You're looking for two candles, the next two candles to be in profit. So basically, one, two, right? And if you're doing a three minute trade on a, on a one minute time frame, you're looking for the next three candles to be profitable because that's three minutes. So let's say you was doing three minute trade. That's how you would do it. All right. Now over here, they got a bunch of different currencies and stuff. There is a lot, but you got to check the percentages here because a lot of the times the percentage be whack. And so you won't get as much per trade. So you definitely want to check that out. The indicator section is right over here. So you first you can use this pencil or you can use this one down here. So this one here at the very bottom is gonna give you all of your, you know, the moving averages, uh, super trend, Keltner, fractals, all that, Bollinger Bands, uh, pretty much all your stuff, your stochastic, you'll be able to find that there. All right, so if I click off of that and then I click on this here, let's go to uh, edit. This is gonna give you all your other stuff. 
So this is where I get my uh, rectangles to draw my support and resistance zones and stuff like that. So if I click rectangle, this will show up. And then, like I said, I can always make this a little smaller. And then I could drag it wherever I want to. So this will be a good place for support and resistance. Why? Because, like I said, any place to touch in the same area, you get a bounce here. We broke through. So I could probably do another one somewhere, somewhere up in here since this is the highest point that it has went. Uh, another one right here. Touch, touch, touch. So this is a good zone. So we'll put one here. And this is how you'll be able to find out exactly where you can enter the market at. All right. So right here, as you can see, where the candles are, let me zoom in, me come over this way. Where the candle is right now, it just rejected, it just rejected off of the box that I just put. So this was a trade I was originally in, all right, but it just bounced off, start shooting back down. All right, so that, that's kind of gonna let you know, it's kind of, it's gonna add, I mean, it's gonna act as like a brick wall, bounce off, drop to a certain zone and then try to go directly back up after that with the stochastic like i said being uh so low we may get a push up in here but eventually like i said it's gonna try to break through it if it doesn't it's gonna push back down all right so that's how you mark the charts up on here i'm gonna go look at a different pair uh for you guys to see what else we can find let's see uh we got Let's go Euro GBP. So with this trade, the first thing I'm looking at, I see the stochastic is very low at the bottom. So that's good, okay? But I'm not gonna be looking to buy like long-term because the candles are below the 200. So the rule of thumb is if your candles are below the 200, yeah, I know I said a million times, we're in a downtrend. So if I buy thinking it's going to go long term, then it probably won't. Now, I may be able to catch a one minute, two minute trade or so. Uh, but just to be on the safe side, I would rather the market bounce up in here and then sell it versus buying and hoping it goes, you know, this way. So I always mark my charts up. So we'll go ahead and mark this one up. Uh, let me go click on right here. Click on my rectangular tool. And like I said, we just looking for points that touch in the same area. So I'm gonna drag my box down first, just to make sure we get something good going. I'm gonna put one right in here. I'm gonna shrink this. We gotta make this a little smaller. And as you can see, I t I'm taking, well, I ain't taking this trade yet, but I probably will take this trade because the market is starting to shoot up where I was saying, and if you notice, let me zoom in. If you notice, you can see here that usually when the candles bounce around in here, it starts to drop again. Not saying it's gonna do that every time, but I do notice that when I look at the market. All right, and so let's see, we can put another rectangle over in here. We want to make this a little smaller. Here's another zone that it could potentially, you know, come up to. We want to stretch those out. All right. So we got that. So now we're watching it. So if you look at this, if you look at this here, we may get up in here and then start to sell off. That's why I'm going to place another sale if it decides to go. I'm just going to go ahead and sell there which I probably should have sold honestly a little earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell here and see if uh, if it's gonna continue to do the same thing it did here, which re is reject here and then drop. I'm gonna see if it's gonna do it again. So two minute trade and we'll see. If it don't, I'm gonna get in on more positions and see. So we're gonna let that ride out. Let me zoom back out so y'all can see the full picture. All right. So this is what we looking like right now. And then uh, let me look to the left, see if we got any. Uh, we got a little, little rejection going on, but not too much, so we'll see. Hold on, let me come back down here, like that there. 
so we're getting another candle right here i honestly want to uh sell again right here just in case you know i try to sell at its highest point so you see we're getting this one so far and this one but we'll see if they push all the way through the bottom now like i said if you look at the back test the back test of it this moving average here pushed it back down so we'll see if it continues down and connects and if so then we in the game if not then we got cooked on two positions but we'll see how this plays out so far so good though See. Starting to retrace on me. I only got 13 seconds on this one, so. Is it gonna, is it gonna, is it gonna push through at the last couple seconds? Uh, uh, one, uh, one, uh. Did I get it? I got it. <laughs> wow. I got that one. That's crazy. That was the last couple seconds on that one. So I got 50. Uh, seconds left on this one so far we looking good now the zigzag just formed and connected to this one this is what i'm talking about so normally if, if it was an uptrend when this zigzag form i would be buying at the bottom of it but since we're below the 200 i believe it's going to keep going down so that's what it is so we will push and let it go down and then just wait and anytime you want to get in on a buy you will wait until the candle, uh, let me see, hold on. Yeah, anytime you want to get in on a buy, I mean a sell, you will wait till the candle gets up in here. And then you will sell off. So this one may, this one may not give it to me. Yeah, at the last couple seconds, let me see, two, one, uh, 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 I got it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I broke even, so I'm good with that. So you can see. That's four to about, you know, about 1400 And then we broke even on that one. So about $1,400 to trade. Uh, yeah, that was really a really, really, really good trade. Really good setup. So now you can see the candle starting to break through this moving average. But if you look at this candle here, it shot up past it a little bit, rejecting and start going back down. So normally once the candle like this gets high enough, I would sell at the top of it because it's a downtrend. So mainly I'm looking for sales because it's a downtrend on this one. If y'all can see that. Uh, let me go look and see if I find anything else. I'm not going to get on no more trades, but I want to make sure. Okay. Everything looking good. So this one is a bit tricky because it, it moves, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. So with this one, you would just have to mark it up. Let me go over here. And hit this. There we go. Got to get my rectangle so we can uh, mark this thing up one time. There it is. All right. So I'm going to start down here. We'll bring that right there. And we need one more of those. And bring that up here. So this is another zone. And again, if you're wondering how I'm finding the zones, it's just areas that touch in the same area. You see a touch here, touch right here, same area. Now I got a couple touches in here, touch, touch. And so these are good supporting resistance zones. And then like if you wanna go in and mark smaller ones like right in here, you can do that same thing. So with this one, like I said, you got the stochastic crossing, trying to push it back down. And it, like I said, it may push it down to about right in here again and go back up. So you got two options. You can either sell from here, back down to here, or you can wait for the bounce here, back up here. All right. Which I will honestly probably wait for the bounce here if it comes back down here and ride it up versus trying to ride it back down. Because it may not even, it may bounce off this 200, which is doing now, and continue up. So I would just wait. But as you can see, it's been bouncing back and forth between these two. Right, so it may start to go back up. If it breaks this moving average, I would probably just buy till it gets up in here. But this is one you gotta wait and be patient on. 
but hopefully uh this video has kind of helped you see the market uh with this with quotex and uh yeah if y'all got any other questions let me know but yeah this is this is the market uh let me see what other move did i have any other moving averages on here that i ain't show y'all yet i think we got the keltner 10 a 10 ema 50 200 and then the zigzag and that's all and then the stochastic which is uh 14 3 and 3 92 and 6 same way as on pocket options uh yeah but that's how you trade on here and this is how you get to the bag repent of all your sins like i tell you all the time man god bless y'all and y'all have a wonderful day lego going to different locations how they got one i need some direction me and Vinci go up every session cook it up yeah you know it's no pressure yeah you know how we do what we all in we can slow up and you never get